but still a G575. Uh, battery problems again. Now, um, I'm just going to. I've done this bit. So, now I'm going to rotate it around so I can actually see the screen this time. Just shows you when you carry, get carried away with uh, something else. I was more concerned about the video rather than the job I was doing. I ended up putting the damn thing the wrong way around. I've done that actually. But then I've never put one of these together upside down so that the viewers can get a better better look at what how it's done. Alright, sorry about that interruption, but uh, it turned out to be quite um, the laptop off me. Or maybe. Mm, I think it's it. Now, it doesn't allow me to. Okay, so we move it over a bit. Screwdriver in there, lift that up. And then I'll get the other one in. Put it downwards and rotate it sufficiently to get the thread in. That's it. As I say, don't do them up just yet. Keep them all at least a whole turn out. So there's movement between the two metal surfaces. And now they're all in, we can stand at the top and screw it down. Down. Screw down. Screw down. Notice I'm supporting this because I don't want it to drop. Um, The two bits of metal at the same angles. So, in the hole, please. Now move it back over so you can see what I'm doing at this end. In the hole. It's like I'm um, ambidextrous. Okay. Don't do them up yet. Should be a, a fourth one here somewhere. Where's that gone then? Where's the fourth screw? Amazes me how one can just disappear like that. Couldn't disappear per se, but then he's got to borrow another one. That's a little one, yes. These are probably the smallest screws you come across in laptop. Oh no, I've seen the smaller than this actually. But they're quite small. Probably about two mil in diameter about five mil long right. again like I said before try and keep the um, tweaking to finger and forethumb forefinger and thumb I mean forethumb <laughs> 
as if you've got more than one down on your head. Okay, let's move that camera away. That camera shouldn't be there. Move over here. Move over, Rover. As Jimmy Hendrix once said. characters like him anymore. He was a character. There's the screw. How'd it get on the other side? Right, screw down, not too hard of course. Screw down. So now we have got it that far. Let's make sure the video's on the screen again. Right, okay. There we go. Pop them new bits here over the hinges first push them in place ok we're stuck here somewhere um, they need to be out of the way inside there inside the frame right there a the metal bit biting on them Put them inside. See these wires here? I put it inside. It can't work. Okay. Put them both inside. Inside as well. Does that work? Does that work? Yes, it does. Okay. Right, let's just remove this screen. Any further. See, it's out of sight for me, so I almost forgot it. Well, in theory, we should have one fingerprint on there. Not even, I'm used to locate on another piece of metal in there to hold this in place, but they don't do that anymore. Right, as I say, no fingerprints on there at all. Mm-hmm. 
Silver ones uh, with that rag, wouldn't they? That's one of them. Okay, where's the other screw? Where's the other screw? up in there. It seems to be lopsided. And we've got these little square things back in. Oh, we better press the button to make sure it's actually working. Shall we see? And there we go. One working screen. Lenovo, they do make some good laptops, these Lenovo, as you know. If you're seriously bar thinking about buying a laptop, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with a Lenovo. They're a little bit more expensive, but they do... <coughs> They do things like isolate the um, the hard drive in, in a piece of rubber. <coughs> so in the end, overall, it makes for a, a more rugged, um, you know, it will, it will suffer more movement than the average laptop will whilst it's on. Because when a laptop's on, you shouldn't move it at all. If you're going to move it, you can move it that way, fine. But if you start moving it um, like this, you're going to screw it up, screw the hard drive up. Because you bring into force gyroscopic forces. You've already got um, centrifugal acceleration in, in the hard drive, so it wants to stay in the plane it's in. You start moving it around. A bit like a kid's um, spinning top. That's fine all the time it's spinning. You try touching the edge or flicking it up and it, it shoots off all over the place. That's gyroscopic forces being brought into play. Anyway, that's uh, another video from Computer Wizards, two Zs and one Z on the end. And I'm Jackadan. See you in the next video. Bye bye.